Hey everybody, it's Liz. I'm back today to share another project for Sawcrafter's shop. I will put the link down below to Sawcrafter's store, as well as the discount code for the month of May. It's good until the 31st. And um, the discount code will get you 10% off your purchase of $30 or more. And if you are not familiar with Sawcrafter's shop, I definitely recommend that you check it out. If you like to alter items, you will find a huge selection of off-the-page products in her store. They're so fun to alter, and they're so easy to put together, and the result is just beautiful each and every time. So I definitely recommend you check it out if you are not familiar. Um, so today's project I will share in just a second, um, but I want to share first the items, some of the items I used in my project. Um, first of all, this is the paper collection that I used. It is by Kaiser Craft, and a very pretty collection. I've had it for a while. It's called Enchanted Garden, and I fell in love with the color combination because I love pink and green together. I think it's really pretty, and uh, the pink in this is, you know, more of a dusty pink, sort of like a mauve, and it's just really pretty. It's got a lot of um, beautiful butterflies and flowers. It's like a sort of like a fairy theme, if you will, and I also used the die cuts that come in the collection, and these are it right here. So there's like little butterflies in there, toadstools, lots of fairies, very, very sweet collection. I thought it would be perfect because my uh, project for this, um, for today, oops, almost moving my backdrop there, is a wishing well. Isn't that cute? And I thought those papers would be just a great addition to the whole theme of the wishing well. And so... This is Sawcrafter's Wishing Well, very easy to put together, like I said. And what I did is I started off by painting all the sides that I knew were not going to get covered with paper. You know, the edges here. And so I covered everything with the paper from the Enchanted Garden collection. Very, very pretty colors. And I wanted the papers to really stand out, so I didn't want to cover a whole lot. But uh, let me just bring it closer so you can see here. Just kind of show um, a quick overview real quick, and then I'll go into detail what I did. But see how pretty the papers are? There's such sweet little images on there, you know, and I didn't want to cover them up as much, so. But this is the whole wishing well. And it's a really cute size, too, because it's not too big and it's not too small, you know? It's just the perfect size. And if you notice some of this script that I did here, this is just from a stamp, a little um, script stamp from my stash. And I used Versamark and white embossing powder. Um, just to create, um, you know, this look. I just, I thought, like this page here, this particular piece, I thought it was a little plain, so I just wanted to add a little bit something to it. So, really pretty. And it adds good texture, too. So, I did that to the papers. I adhered them on there real good. Um, and then when I, I went ahead and inked the edges with um, a sponge dauber and some gold metallic uh, paint, just acrylic paint. I sort of just wanted to add a little bit of gold accents and kind of um, uh, dirty up the wishing well, if you will. I mean, after all, this is in the middle of a forest, so it can't be all pristine. So, I just dabbed some of that gold acrylic paint just all over. Okay, you can see some of it here. Really, really sweet. And um, so what I did, let me see, I'll start off here. So what I did is I just added a few of the die cut pieces to my little wishing well. This is one of the little toadstools. I just popped it with some foam tape. Just wanted it next to the other one. And then here's the beautiful fairy. You see, I had in mind, you know, this wishing well is in the middle of the forest. And it's guarded by the magical fairies. And they protect the wishing well. You go there, you make your wish and all that stuff. So I kind of like how she's holding um, almost like a little bowl. Like she just filled it with water and she's about to share it with someone. So I thought that was really pretty. And she's just a die cut from the collection. I used stickles on her wings just to uh, make them just more shimmery and pretty. And look how beautiful that looks, right? Isn't that gorgeous? So I thought she's really pretty. Kind of skimpy out for a fairy though, right? <laughs> but she's cute. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a cramp here. Okay. So those are the die cut pieces that I used. And if you can see, I've got a little bit of a trim here. This is a little pom-pom trim that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I have the trim going all around the base of the wishing well. Okay. And for the sides, I wanted to do sort of like um, flower clusters and vines that went up the wishing well, you know, the sides of the wishing well. So I created a flower cluster here. This, these are just a bunch of flowers for my stash. The only ones I had to go buy were these pink ones. I just wanted to find just the right shade of pink. And I picked these up at Michael's. And I like that they have this cute little center. It's sort of like a bunch of little glass beads. You see that? And so some of them I cut them in half. I cut them in half to tuck into the cluster so I can, you know, uh, get more use out of them. 
Okay, but just lots of little flowers for my stash. And then the little vines that I wanted going up the wishing well are um, die cuts from the Magnolia Doohickey Volume 4, no, Volume 3. These are like these little vines, and I just used some green paper from the same paper pad. I cut out a few of these, and I have them kind of sort of, you know, going up the wishing well, and then I added just these cute little pink flowers. These are all from Prima, you know, the kind that you find in the little milk bottles. And so I have them on there. I used a little glass bead for the center, if you could see that. And the glass bead was clear, but I used a little um, texture gem uh, pen to add the gold to the center of the glass bead, or to the glass bead itself, I should say just so I could pop more, because you weren't able to see the center since it was clear. I've got some more pom-pom uh, trim right on top on the little um, roof of the wishing well, and as you can see, everything is covered with the pattern paper, and then, you know, just um, sponged with the gold acrylic paint. The inside is covered as well with paper. I hope you're able to see that, except for this part, because I thought, you know, no one's really going to be able to see that. But see, the pillars are covered with paper on the inside, the inside of the box, or the base is covered with paper. And I was thinking of doing like a little mini album and sticking it in there. I'm not sure. Or I might just, you know, use it to hold little trinkets, you know, little baubles and things like that. Okay, and so this is the back. Here you can see some of the embossing that I did, some more of the little pom-pom trim. And the other side is very similar. It's just basically uh, a mirror image of the other side with the flower cluster and the little vines going up. You know, some more pom-pom trim really pretty and um <clears throat> the wishing well does not come with this little thing inside i had to drill holes on both sides or my husband helped me i'm always worried i'm gonna mess up you know and so i have him help me but i drilled tiny little holes and i used a bamboo bamboo skewer that i painted the same color as the base and i cut it to fit and i have it going across the wishing well because I wanted to include the little pail, you know? And so I've got like this cute little pail that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I painted it the same white. It's like a warm white, okay? And then I just added little flower buds to the middle of it. I tied a piece of jute twine and then I have it sort of uh, going around or, you know, yeah, around this little skewer part. So it looks like a true wishing well, you know? You just lower the little pail and you get your flower buds. <laughs> So I thought that was cute. That was just an addition to the little wishing well. And let me see. So I covered both sides. Okay, so now let me show you the roof. Very, very easy and super cute. What I did here is I just took strips of the pattern paper and I used one of my Martha Stewart uh, edge punches to punch these little scallops. This is one of my favorite uh, punches because it's really pretty. It reminds me of almost like a little lacy doily type border. And so I just created a couple of, st I cut out a few strips and I adhered them to the roof. I wanted it to look sort of like shingles, you know, so I, uh, I just kind of one green and then pink and green and so forth. And so I've got them on there. They're all inked with the same gold acrylic paint. Very pretty there. And then I just added one of the die cut butterflies from the collection and I just have them, I have his wings popped up a little bit so it looks like he just landed on top of the, um, the little roof there. So I thought that was really cute. And the other side of the roof is similar. Again, just different strips or, you know, the little strips of the paper that I'd hear it on there after I, you know, punched them out with my Martha Stewart punch. And then I love this little quote. This was one of the little die cuts that was in the die cut pack. And I thought since this is a wishing well and it's all about fairies and magic, I thought it went really well. And it just reads, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. So I thought that was perfect. And I have it on there uh, with some foam tape. I created another flower cluster on top. You can see all the flowers. These are all from my stash again, like I said. And this is where I cut some of the pink ones and I just adhered them. I cut them in half to adhere them on there. Just for another pop of color. I love this one. See how it has the little glass bead center? I think it's really pretty. And again, you can find those at Michael's. So, really cute. And I have another butterfly from the die cuts as well. And I've got that um, right over the little um, label there. And that's it. It was so easy to put together, like I said, and it was so much fun. It came together very easily, um, especially with the papers. I just thought it was just a perfect match for that little wishing well, you know? I thought it was such a cute little idea. So, and again, I might work on a little mini album and stick that in there. Not sure yet. 
but I just wanted to share the wishing well with you. I um, think it's such a cute project. And again, depending on the papers that you use and the embellishments that you use, you can really make it your own for any theme or, um, you know, just anything, your favorite colors. And I think this is such a cute little project. And I had a lot of fun working with this. And again, don't forget that your discount code LizFans is still good until Sunday the 31st. And that's going to get you 10% off your purchase of $30 or more from Sawcrafter Shop. And so that is my project share for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. I hope you really like my project. And I will be seeing you all real soon. Bye-bye.